That's Hello. Oh no! Let me see the let me see your your setup with your new table. Oh wow! Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. Well, I've been putting more holes in more things. I'm enjoying my... Makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Why? <laughs> nice and cool on my little head. Got to look after my bald patch. I love you and leave you. Sleep well. And I'll probably be up early tomorrow as well because it's so light down here. Right. Speak to my lovely millions. But I guess it's like a mixture of like the more you cut out, the less water you can like pour over yourself because it's like a sieve. Right. But if you get hungry, you can drain some spaghetti. <laughs> drain some pasta in it. Probably it probably work quite well. Right, there we go, so that's half of it done. And only one hand blister. Trial it today. The way that we cool as humans is through sweat and then wind on sweat evaporates, you feel cool. But when the shirt's like completely soaked, it then becomes non-breathable, so you can't get that. You can't get like the evaporative effect. So, you cut out. Cut out some little holes. But yeah, it's been a yeah, it's been a fun process, and then I got yeah completely obsessed with just uh, yeah cutting holes into absolutely everything I earn. But what else do you do in a taper? Give yourself a little hobby. So um, yeah, my hobby has been putting holes in things. Um, what are we? Eight days before Western States, um, so in Phoenix, and doing like a mini yeah a mini heat block. So the running's volumes dropped. Um, but intensity is the same and amount of runs are still the same. Like I like to keep a similar sort of routine. Um, and down here it's like 100, probably just over 100 degrees, so like 40-ish um, Celsius. Gonna be measuring core body temp with the core device. Yeah, I know exactly what my body's doing and how hot it is and I wear it in the race as well, just so I've got a really good idea um, of exactly what's going. So yeah, I'm just gonna get changed, get my, we'll sort out my nutrition, um, and then, yeah, head off to the Havelina course and, um, and get running. Right. Yeah, so final longest run, so, yeah, just replicating the race, um, as much as possible, um, so, for this, I'll use two bottles, uh, both with, uh, 320 Morton 320 drink mix um, I'll also have a Red Bull just before the start um, and yeah I have a similar yeah similar sort of uh, nutrition strategy to what I'll use during the race um, which yeah for me it's going to be slightly dependent on the area of the course um, but it's going to be sort of between 110 and 115 grams of carbohydrate an hour uh, is the goal. That's all going to come from Morton for the hydrogel uh, and then Red Bull for some more carbohydrate, uh, but also mainly for the caffeine. Uh, and I'll go pretty high on caffeine, certainly like in the second half of the race. And yeah, and if you saw me pouring these in, something very exciting coming fairly soon.
Western strategies to the Western states and just get as wet as you can and as cold as you can. It just helps keep the core cool, cool body temp warm. And it's the second time I've worn this top, but first time I've got it wet. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it see how it feels. Um, yeah, first impressions great. Like it's it's hot. It's probably like just over 40, 41, 42 degrees maybe. Um, and I reckon I'll be dry in two minutes. Uh, it was pretty wild. We're yeah, halfway through the run now and yeah, I feel good. Core cool body temps doing well. Uh, we're sat at uh, 38 point one nine degrees, 38.2 degrees. <laughs> Sweet, so that is run now finished. That was my final long run before Western States and we're eight days out now. So just some stats from my Garmin. 17.18 um, miles, average pace 7.09, time two hours, two minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, average heart rate 144, uh, 370 meters of climbing, 3.9, points aerobic zero anaerobic so exactly what i wanted um and yeah it felt good uh I'm not sure what my core data was but i'll see that in a minute um when it logs into my phone but yeah the work is now done before western states so um yeah but i now fully start my taper now um eight days till race day and yeah super excited so yeah got back uh, a nice melted recovery bar um yeah, so I got back, filled up with water, and uh, there were loads of wasps over there. So I filled my bottle up once, it was fine. I thought, oh, I'll just be nice and slow, nice and smooth. And then I got stung by a wasp there. Um, yeah, that's the last time I'll try and help out a wasp with some water. But yeah, it's been, a, it's been a really fun block and probably the most specific I've ever trained for a race. Um, I've done everything that I think that I need to do to have my best possible results. Um, the hard work has now been done in training, but the hardest part of work is yet to come. Uh, and yeah, I'm super, super excited and really, really looking forward to racing Western States for a second time. It's For me, it's... It's my favorite race, the whole, the history of the race, the atmosphere around the race, the pride 
that there are so few people who race every year that you prepare as well as you can. I have so much respect for the race that I want to give absolutely everything that I've got because, yeah, I'm so fond of the race and, yeah, I'm just super, super excited to get to get to Olympic Valley in a couple of days, chill out, um, knowing that all of the hard work and training has been done and just, yeah, really look forward to the race itself because, yeah, it's going to be... Um, yeah, it's going to be one hell of a day.